I think I found the best high resolution glossy travel monitor for your Mac. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So as you know on my channel, I try to find these kind of innovative off the beaten trail products that are just awesome for Mac computers. And this is no exception. So this is gonna be a very high resolution, we'll get into that in a second, all aluminum, and it's got a whole bunch of tricks up its sleeve as well. So stay tuned for the whole video. I wanna show you a couple cool things about this thing. But it's basically like a huge iPad almost that sits on top, or you can set it in different various aspects. You know, I'll show you that also. But it's full aluminum, it's just an incredible monitor for a second screen. So I just wanted to kind of showcase, this is gonna be a product showcase. So far I love it. I can't give you a full long-term product review. I've only had it a few weeks. But overall, so far, this thing's really good. All right, before we get into the full video, I just wanna say one thing. This thing is not cheap, and that's saying something because you know I like to kind of review cheaper products. This is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but it looks like it was designed for the Mac, maybe even by Apple, and it's that good. I'll show you the back of it in a couple of minutes here. It's just an incredible design, and it works really well with the glossy screen. I'll show you the price in a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to set the stage that this thing's not gonna be you know, a very low-cost monitor for a second screen here. It's got a whole bunch of hidden tricks up its sleeve, so without further ado, I just wanted to mention it's gonna be a little bit more. Okay, so let's introduce this. This is the Satsu, it's called, what is it, the Limited Edition Flip Action 16-inch Premium Monitor. And I'm gonna get into why this is the Flip Action. Let's go through some specs here, and I'm gonna show you some close-ups of, of this as I'm talking about it. So this is gonna be a glossy screen, what is it, 2560 by 1600, 1610 aspect ratio, which is a little unusual, but it's still very good. And then it's got, what is it, 189 PPI. Think about that, for a screen this size, 16 inches, 189 PPI, that's what makes it so good, for sure. It's beautiful, actually. And then it's got, like I said, let me just see here, 99% DCI P3 color gamut, 8-bit color depth, and 350 nits of brightness. That's actually, seems like it's actually low. I actually think it seems higher than that, so brightness is no problem at all. You can see here it matches the Mac perfectly, and even the colors do. All right, it's a TFT screen as well, 1200 to 1 contrast ratio, and it comes in this nice blue color, which you can't see, I'm gonna show you in a second to match kind of my iMac and everything, but it also comes in kind of a space black or blackish color and a space gray or grayish color, so it's gonna match your other Macs as well. All right, so let's just get the price out of the way really quickly. If you look over at my screen here, it's 499 bucks, all right? So it's not gonna be cheap, but you can see it here. It's on, I'll have a link to this in the description, it's on Amazon, but it comes in this kind of baby blue color, Arctic blue, which is what I call it. You can see here, and I'll show you some, I'm gonna turn this around in a second. Um, it also comes in over here at this, what is it called? I don't know what the color's called. I just clicked on it. It's, um, I can't find it here, but you get the idea. It's kind of a space gray there. And then it comes in this black color, which is one of the nicest, I think, as well, especially if you have that kind of black Mac that just came out. So it's really nice. It matches really well with that. Um, but you can see it in here. It's 499 bucks. So what makes this worth that much money? And that's what we're going to talk about. And just really quickly, here's the box that it came in. It comes in a super nice packaging. It was very professional, almost like an Apple package. And a couple cool things. It comes with a carrying case, and I'm gonna get into this in a second. But you can see how thin this is. It's like a neoprene case here. So it can actually fit into this thing. It can fold up with the stand and everything and get into this little teeny case there. I'm gonna throw that back over here. And then one cool thing is it came with this letter as well from the actual maker of this. This is a limited edition. And it says, my letter says, I only have 29 out of 500. So I think they made 500 of each color. So you gotta get these quickly. And this says actually 29 of 500. This person tells their whole story and how they made this monitor. And it's even in, in, kind of etched into the stand here. I'll show you a picture of that. So it tells me what I have here. So I think I have the 29th of the 500th of this blue color, which is kind of cool. And it's kind of an interesting story about this guy coming to America and stuff. Anyways, you, if you guys get this, you can read the letter. Also in the box really quickly is a Thunderbolt 4 cable and it's a very high quality one. And that's actually what will connect your MacBook in. As soon as you connect it in, this thing just connects instantly up. There's no, you know, it's very easy to do. There's nothing you have to really worry about it. It just works instantly. It's very good with Macs. All right, so what makes this thing so special? And I turned it around to show you. I put my Mac down there. So first of all, you can see how this thing sits up so you can put your Mac kind of below it. And I show you that picture as well. That's really cool. It's also made out of this full aluminum and uh, it's kind of milled, it's very silky smooth, but it's full aluminum, very good quality here. Now on the sides, it's got some really cool ports too. On this side over here, it's got a mini HDMI, USB-C, and then power in. You only need to power it in if you wanna bring power to your Mac. It works perfectly fine without powering it. You know, you can just plug your Mac right into this and it's worked for me. I have the M2 Air over there. On the other side, it's got a DP out where you can daisy chain another screen up to this one, and then an SD card slot actually. So it adds an SD card slot if you're using this, which is really cool. 
Also up here, you're gonna see that there's like a little button or a ring up here, and that's actually how you control the monitor. You click on it and it does the, the brightness and contrast, and then it has a whole bunch of menus. I'll put them right here, but you have to pause them and put them quickly. Just pause if you wanna see them, but these are the menu systems. And just if you wondered if this wanted to go after Apple, they kind of have some Apple-like stickers in here, Satsu, you can see it right there, they're kind of cool, but just like Apple, you know, they actually come in the box as well. But that's really all you get. Now, the cool thing about this thing, like I said, is the aluminum build quality and uh, the way that this thing will actually rotate. And I'm gonna show you this here now. So the, what makes this thing so unique is the fact that you can actually go ahead and you can take this thing and you can rotate it into like a, a mode like that, all right? So now you can actually look at web pages and you can do all that kind of stuff and I'll show you a close up. But this is what it's all about is like you can actually put this on the side of the computer now and use it this way if you wanted to. And then anyways, you could actually keep flipping this down like this, see that? Now this thing's way lower. See this? See how low this is? So this can be off to the side now. And, uh, or you can have it like in portrait, what is this, uh, portrait mode. Or you can actually have, uh, let me just go like this. You can have it way up here and you can put it underneath. If you put it in the low mode like down here, I'll show you, you can actually put it under something like a studio display because you can bend this thing. Look at this thing. This thing bends all different ways. So you can bend it down like this, put it like under a studio display if a studio display is up on a rack or something. And that, I'll show you an example of that as well. So you have a lot of different options here. So the stand's got three different things there. And then finally what it has here at the end of the day, let me just show you here, is you can actually, let me see if I can do this fairly easy. You can actually yank that off just like that. Now this thing's a stand, I'll get into that in a second, but you can also prop this up just like this over here. See that? So now it's actually a fourth dimension. So if you want it to be even lower, I think this is actually the way you would do it on the actual studio display. I, my mistake, I think you, you'd use this format because this is gonna sit way lower. But you can see this now is even lower. So you have those all those different orientations on this thing. It's really, really cool. So, and then on top of everything, if you wanna go ahead and pack this up into that neoprene bag you saw, Look at that, you can close that little hinge there, stick this here. All right, so this stand right over here, now we're gonna go ahead and just close it like this. It's kinda of tight here, so you gotta do it kinda of easy. A big loud bang there. And I think somehow, I forget how this thing works, but you actually have a magnet somewhere on here. And this actually, right, right there actually, so it'll stick on this side of it. You can see like that, so now it's stuck on there. It won't move, it moves a little bit I guess, but it does have a magnet, but you can slide this into that neoprene, neoprene bag that I talked about and everything works perfectly. So you can see how you can carry this around you know, to the coffee shop or something. It's literally you know, thinner than the MacBook right there and you can put it in that little bag, so it's really cool. All right, so for the resolutions, the one thing I noticed was the 2560 by 1600 was just too small of text. So what did I use? I actually set it to 20, 48 times 1280, so 2048 by 1280. It made it about the right size on the screen so I could view everything comfortably. Everything was crystal clear, text and videos. It worked really well. Okay, so that's just the product showcase, and it is what it is, right? It's a secondary screen for your Mac, but it's a perfect size at 16 inches. It's also made out of aluminum, it matches it perfectly. And then on top of everything else, it's just the glossy screen is the kicker. So if you like that, you can clean it very easily. The problem with these external screens and all that kind of stuff, if, you, if I was to put it down like this on the back, you know, it would get dirty. Once those screens get dirty, they're very, very difficult to clean. But a glossy screen like an iPad or something, you just use like a little, you know, one of those cleaning cloths and you're all set. So the, the clarity of it is actually stays really high over the whole time, you know, the whole time you're using it. And that's one of the huge advantages and you're gonna pay up for that because there's not many glossy screens like this. So at the end of the day, do I recommend this? I mean, again, I'm saying I can't really give you a long-term recommendation because I haven't used it that long because it just got it a couple weeks ago. But from my initial response, I mean, the ease of putting this together, let me just show you. I mean, you can basically take the stand, like I said, and let me go ahead and you, you just prop this up like this, go like that, and then you take this piece and this piece just slides. I don't know if I can do it from this angle. I gotta get a little different angle here. But you can see how easy this is. It just slides in like that and you're done. And there you go. So, you know, and obviously you can start flipping this thing in any orientation you want. And, you know, you have the screen that's perfect for everything that you wanna do, including portrait, landscape, and high or low. So I think for the innovation of this and from a small company, I think someone like really Satechi or someone should buy this company out because they only have those 1,500 units of this. And I think this thing would really sell like hotcakes if it came from a bigger company because this is kind of the perfect design. If they could get the, even the cost down a little bit, it would help. I think maybe at $399, but $499 is still, for being this unique is innovative, I think, 
is something you're going to always pay up for. Um, and like I said, this is Arctic Blue, but it does come in the black and in this kind of gray to match your other Macs if you like that. And uh, so that's it. It's a product showcase, not a total review because I you know, it showcases what I do, just recommending my initial thoughts on it. You let me know in the comments if this is kind of unique and we'll kind of wrap up the video. But I just thought it was. I, I figured I would do a video on it because it's just unique enough. Again, it's the Satsu. I believe that's how you say it, the monitor, but I have a link in the description if you want to check it out. But there's only, I think, 500 of each, and you got to get them soon because they've been selling. I don't think there's too many left. Check them out and tell the guy to make some more of them if you want them. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.